Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, a few weeks ago, we saw that the Linux Mint team was going to be putting together a new default theme for Cinnamon, which was arguably among the most ugly desktop environments when you just install it outside of Linux Mint. Now, they say that it is up to the distro to make sure that the theme looks good for those that are packaging it. And indeed, those that feature a Cinnamon build, a Cinnamon download option, do generally do a really good job. Look at the uh, Ubuntu Cinnamon Edition. It is a beautiful theme. Manjaro Cinnamon Edition. It is also a beautiful theme. And any other distribution I've seen that utilizes Cinnamon does generally do this. But for distributions like Arch and Debian and a few other offshoot ones that um, may be basing themselves on Arch or Debian or something that don't have a specific focus on Cinnamon, if you go to install Cinnamon on the desktop, it is going to look about as ugly as a desktop environment as can get. And I have mentioned that before. Of course, what I do, if that's the case where you're at right now, I've always just installed the Arc Dark theme, which is a, just a very beautiful cinnamon theme available in every uh, repository. I tried it. I use it on my uh, Endeavor system, which, of course, is Arch-based, and I use it on my uh, MX Linux system which with the Cinnamon desktop, which I use on my Raspberry Pi. And so Arc Dark works perfectly on both of those. Also, the icon theme. I haven't heard anything in any of this discussion on the icon theme, but they should probably change that to a different default as well. If you're listening, Cinnamon team, I'd recommend something like uh, Paper or Papyrus. That's generally what I am using when I am setting this up. Uh, but uh, we did talk about that. Well, this week on the uh, Linux Mint update blog, we got the first look at some of the elements. Now, they only have about half of the elements here ready to show, but we are going to go ahead and show you what those are. I'm going to give you my early thoughts about these and the change to the theme. So let's have a look over at the newsletter itself. So the first thing they do talk about, and they really only talk about two things. They talk about the uh, visual improvements in the cinnamon when you're not running Linux Mint, uh, but they also talk about the app kit and captain uh, migration as well. And we'll get into both of those in this video. But first, on to the cinnamon. Uh, this is Joseph working on it. And uh, I can say, uh, first and foremost, uh, what we get is a March, March darker one. My first initial thought and concern about this is, is it too dark in some ways? Um, and because... I've seen this in some distributions um, and some desktops where the dark theme is just entirely too dark and the light theme is entirely too light. And when you taper that down and go not quite black, but a couple phases up, you're probably a little bit better. Now, I can kind of see here that it looks like the uh, the panel on the bottom is a little bit darker than is the, uh, the calendar app here. So... It might be okay. I'd kind of have to see it in the full context, but this is a massive improvement. Now, it is pulling in the heavily rounded corners of the modern UI design that I am not a personal fan of, but I acknowledge this is the mode everybody is going with right now. Um, so I'm going to deal with it and not say anything more than that, but... Uh, what they did do, though, is they did make the corners rounded. It is a much more modern look. And so this is infinitely, infinitely better than what they had before. And so great job on this. We have a little bit of just a slight bit of color accent. We have various shades of grays and whites to highlight things. And you can kind of see that there is an attention to the detail down here. Uh, we do have the the icons down here do look kind of the same as they have in the past. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, as I said, but uh, we'll see. And uh, here is the uh, confirmation box. So if you want to remove something, you know, this is the confirmation boxes. Very clear. Yes. Red. Uh, no. I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm in love with those color choices. Usually red means no. Um, so. But you're asking to remove something, warning, yes, okay, I can see where they made that uh, argument. I guess you might walk into a trap when you're including any form of contrasting colors, you know, which does the button do, you know? <laughs> you hit the yes button and it removes it. Okay, I can understand why that one's the red, but... Um, 
it is certainly regardless the style of this is good it is nice it is contrasting it definitely does not look like just a a ugly wall like we have had in the past it has modern theme elements and style it looks really good uh, this one here this used to be a GTK window so if you have to force close an application they rewrote these in clutter to look like the rest of cinnamon so it looked a lot nicer now so you can see here on the background we still have a kind of a lighter color now what I'm seeing here is that this does kind of look like uh, like the the Mint Y theme that they're currently developing. So I don't know if this is just to show the dialog box or if they're going to change the default of these window tiles around it. Presumably these are going to change because this does look like the style coming from the Mint Y theme. So the background box here is probably not representative, but they are highlighting and say they're specifically highlighting the foreground box. So that's good there. And I'm seeing in context here, looking at all of these different things, I'm not sure that it's going to be too dark of a theme. It might be, but I think it's probably going to be okay. It might be depend on how dark your main windows are. The theme itself is okay. Here again, we have the improvements for the media buttons and the workspace buttons here. Definitely a massive improvement. So uh, kind of like what we have on our screen right now. Let me just hit mine right now. Um, you can't see those on my screen, but yeah, they look okay with <laughs> what my, what we have. Of course, I think the default are, are significantly uglier. I'm running a custom cinnamon theme on my, uh, uh, desktop here. Uh, but, um, yeah, you can see the, the buttons here. Again, what I don't like about them is just this perfectly rounded type buttons like the modern GNOME, modern Android, modern everything, modern blah. Can we get out of this phase now? But I'm not going to criticize them for going with the modern trend on the desktop environment because the desktop environment might look similar to the other elements, but in and of itself is a different thing. So overall, uh, that's what they have done. They said down here they are working on the uh, they're working on the menus, the animations, the notifications, the logout dialog boxes and status applets and things. So they say they're going to cover more of that next. Now, when we are expected to see this theme is in December with the release of Linux Mint 22.1, we might actually get this theme as an option to try out the default theme in Linux Mint as of that time. As soon as I see this roll out, uh, I will update an Arch system with Cinnamon, and I will have a look at this as soon as I can have a look at this. So I'm going to keep an eye out for this. Overall, this is a massive improvement. Uh, very good job to uh, Joseph and the rest of the Cinnamon team there working on that. All right, the next thing they wanted to cover here is the apt kit. So we discussed this very briefly as well. So there were a plethora of packages that were doing a lot of the under the uh, under the hood things. So if you run updates, it's really running the updates through Synaptic, but it's doing it through a GUI package manager. We have GDebby, uh, which I believe that's the one for installing uh, Debs. Uh, you have apt URL, you have app daemon. So you have a lot of these different packages, which were a mishmash and some were not as developed and some were simply maintained by uh, Ubuntu because the original developers had abandoned them, but they were critical for some of these functions. You know, that, that uh, guy, in Nebraska got hit by a corn cob or something and couldn't update the software for a while. And so uh, these have been slugging along for a while. And so what they have decided to do is they started to rework on effectively two different packages, AptKit and Captain, uh, which are going to allow all of these under the hood things from software sources to running the updates to, you know, all these different functions will now be under this more simplified chart, merging things together to give a more unified and easy code base. They did say that they had to rewrite their uh, upgrade manager because it was written decades ago in non-future proof code. And so uh, utilizing this, they had, they pulled Synaptic out of there now. So I don't know, presumably we may not get Synaptic package manager anymore with Linux Mint. At least it may not be a requirement of Linux Mint, which it is now. But you can see here, let me see if I can make this image larger. I can't even see it well. All right. Um, so here's the aptkit uh, client. So we have Mint sources, Mint backup, Mint locale, Mint upgrade.
upgrade. Um, so we have Mint Report, Mint Update, and then um, others, Nemo sharing, Cinnamon Menu, and things like that. And then uh, Captain Controls, App URL Users, Mint Menu, Mint Welcome, uh, Mint uh, Make ISO, the Cinnamon App Search Provider, Multiple Spices. So there we have a little bit of more updates and adjustments here just to kind of show what they're, what they're really working on. So they're doing a transition towards these. Uh, gives them a few benefits here. They acknowledge no more trans, uh, translation issues. Everything is now fully translated. Uh, no more bugs and paper cuts. We no longer depend on unmaintained components, which are upstream. So they're basically pulling all of those upstream things that they relied on into their own development cycle, which will give a much cleaner and safer code down the road. So that is a, uh, once again, Linux Mint is just demonstrating how good they are at this kind of work. Uh, redefined scope, anything we didn't need was removed. Anything that was missing, purging packages, downgrading to specific packages was added. Uh, this allowed a complete, uh, us to completely refactor the code in the update manager and greatly simplify its architecture. So again, they are saying that we are going to see this roll out in 22.1. So that might be a pretty big update. Uh, so that's definitely going to be one that, uh, hey, now that I have the extra disk space in that computer, I might actually turn on the um, the uh, system restore points on that one. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, I will post this blog post in the uh, in the the description down there. So I encourage you to go ahead and have a have a look at it. And this looks great. I'm encouraged to see that uh, they are still doing a lot of great things as well. So I'll be having a look at that. So he says here, Clem says, let's see. Uh, will this be rolled out into an update or will it be part of the upcoming release? So that he says it'll be part of Cinnamon 6.4, which is going to be in uh, 22.1. And so that is uh, where you're going to uh, to find it. So uh, there is uh, our update on Linux Mint for today. Uh, thank you for following along. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like and a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.